So I wanted to ask you, um, I am pretty sure that you were an athlete growing up, is that correct? But where did like your love of fitness and wellness stem from? Was like your parents just being an athlete growing up? Uh, so it kind of comes from a few things. I always played sports. I played football, basketball, all that. Um, but because of a, a broken leg, actually playing football, I had to kind of shift my focus. And I just happened to get into modeling at the same time. And because of the modeling career, career I developed like health issues. And so I decided it was time to figure out really how to be healthy and fit in a proper way. So I uh, enrolled into a nutrition class, which turned into getting a degree in dietetics. And uh, while I was in school for that, I was also a job as a personal trainer. I really fell in love with it. I enjoyed helping people and helping people that had like, not necessarily disabilities, but maybe insecurities like I did, and help them to get out of it just like I did. And it just became like a lifelong passion. I feel like you've been like in this wave of body positivity, but like more of the male focus of it. And I think that that's really important and something I really admire you for. Um, so would you say when you started training, that was your aha moment, like you knew fitness was something you wanted to pursue? I mean, it came easy. Like, some people, math comes easy. Or, like, art comes <laughs> easy, right? No, same. So, it, for whatever reason, like, I don't have the greatest memory, but in fitness, I can do it. It's just something I like. It's, it's like intrinsic. Yeah, like, it just sticks to me. Like, well, so, it, it was just kind of like my color. That's awesome. I love that. Um, okay, so obviously you're in Chicago today, which is not too far from Madison, but if you could lead a boot camp anywhere in the world, where would it be? And where has been the coolest place you've lived so far? Ooh. Any place in the world love the tropics. And there's some of these guys that do like a, a boot camp either on a cruise or like an escape for a couple days. So I've looked at trying to do that. So that's kinda of on the radar right now. I think it'd be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. And, like sure. if I go to the Maldives and do a boot camp on the beach, yeah, Maldives. Yeah. Um, but coolest place so far? This this location's probably the coolest location. Mm -hmm. the coolest city was San Antonio, I was there for the final four. Oh, it's perfect timing. Yeah. Was that just by chance too? Uh, I was like, I'm going to San Antonio for the final four. I haven't done a, a boot camp in Texas yet, and it actually ended up being one of my the biggest boot camps. Yeah, really good. Congrats on all your successes. Um, so since you're traveling so much, what's your like number one or like top tip for traveling? What's one thing you always pack in your bag to make sure you can stay healthy? Water, I mean, first and foremost. Um, biggest thing when people are moving around a lot is they get dehydrated, they forget to drink. Always drink as much water as possible. I always have a bottle with me just in case there's not some available on it. And then uh, I practice a little cross bar. So I have lower back issues. And when you sit a lot, your back tends to seize up, or like your flexors get a little tight. Right. So I just roll out on the cross ball either while I'm on the plane or when I'm going to the hotel. Super smart. I really like that too. Um, so what would you say your morning routine looks like? Does it start with a workout and then coffee, or are you not a coffee guy? Like, uh, different every day? It's different every day. I'm not very good at mornings. So workout used to be the case, like wake up, go for a swim because it was training. But now it's wake up, try and get my dog out of bed, have a cup of coffee, take her out to the poop. <laughs> I can relate to that, I have a dog too. <laughs> uh, and that's like a 30 minute process in itself, so pretty slow mornings. Now. Yeah, I like that. That's I'm more of a night owl by nature, so I understand kind of forcing the morning yeah, routine to happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, how would you say that the, being on The Bachelor influenced your business? Like after getting off the show, like did you immediately know how you wanted to grow and how you saw your customers going yeah. from that point forward? Uh, what people really don't see is it actually hurt my business. Oh, okay. So I did personal training. I had clients in home and I had trainers who did home training as well. And when I got back from that, there was such an influx of emails that most of them got home. And so it was hundreds of emails in a day of just talking to people not actually getting into anything. So I had to stop training. So I was fielding so many emails and it, it basically took a hold. So I was like, okay, how can I stay in the fitness realm, give people what they're asking for, uh, still having fun myself. And so that's when the boot camps just kind of told on me. I'd been doing them to 20 or 30 people in town and people were asking me to come to their cities. So that's when I went to the, the bigger boot camps and it exploded. And people yeah, have been loving it. And, uh, yeah. So it's helped. It's really transformed my business, but it has definitely helped in a lot of ways. Interesting. It's a unique, unique experience to have yeah. gone through. Oh, no, definitely. Um, but you still have a gym in Madison, right? And well, so I have a studio and then I'm building like a full size gym. I mean, right cool. I need to go. I've only been to Madison once. It's beautiful. And it was in the summer. Yeah. I have to go back and definitely stop yeah. by when I do. We'll wait till the summer. It's, it's not like you're Yeah, that's why I tell people when they're visiting Chicago too. I'm like, just wait until anytime, like, June through August yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanted to ask, what is your best advice for someone trying to reach their fitness goals and resolutions? 
Uh, start slow. That's a good place to start. A lot of times people jump into a routine that they're they're not cut out to do, and they burn out really fast. So 60% of the gym population doesn't show up again ever after the first like eight weeks. Of the so that's so where, like surprising, but that's a crazy stat. That's how the big gyms make their money. They yeah. rely on those people, and that's unfortunate. So instead, it's start slow. Really, if you can afford it, get a trainer or an instructor or a friend that can kind of help you find a good routine. Um, and then just experiment. Find something that you really like. So if you like spinning, do spin. You don't have to lift weights if you don't like to. Now, I encourage that you do, but if you like yoga, stick to yoga. Just find something that will keep you consistent and really powerful. Now, for people that weren't here today or don't have access to a boot camp, are yep. they, is there a way they can do your workouts or follow the things you do virtually? Currently, no. Um, I love doing the boot camps in person, and people have been pushing me to do more online type of training. So, in time, I might start doing more like a video tutorial. Cool. That would be awesome. Um, and then is that one of the things you see in the future for Peter Krauss Fitness? Or is there, like, what is the future look like for your fitness empire? Uh, so fitness specific, I've kind of moved all my focus onto the, the gym. And so once the gym is open, hopefully we can keep that up and going and be successful for a couple of years. And then build the second, third, and hopefully in the next 10 years have, like, four or five. Throughout the country? Or? Yeah. Cool. So mostly well, in the Midwest. There's going to be one in Chicago. That would be like a location probably four or five. Okay, cool. Yeah. It made the list. So I'm happy about that. Um, <laughs> and then my final question is, while you're in Chicago, what's like the number one place you plan on going to? Going to today, hopefully it's open because of the snow, but yeah, right. what's your favorite restaurant go-to spot in Chicago? It could be anything. Like bar. So I always used to go to, I think it's called In on the Park. It's, uh, it's like a... a rooftop bar right off of uh, Millennium Park, and it's a great place to have dinner, look out the park. It's better than summer, obviously, mm -hmm. but I thought it was a good place. Cool. Right now, I think just, I'm going to go down to Michigan Avenue and do some shopping. Yeah. The shopping in Madison is not the same as Chicago. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I'm sure it won't be too crowded today, either, so you won't have to deal with the line. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much for your time. Of course. Thank you. Thanks for coming here. Of course. Thank you for kicking uh, my butt. You. You're <laughs> yeah, welcome. Anytime. You.